LED Info. My name is Ron, and we're happy to have you with us today. We're in the LED Info test lab reviewing the Flyzon 600 watt LED. And this is part of our ongoing project. Over the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at many of the lights that are for sale right now on eBay and Amazon. And we'll focus mainly on the reasonably priced lights, the kind that would be used in smaller at home type of projects. And this Flyzon um, definitely is one of the uh, reasonably priced lights. It's a lower end um, light. But it sells very well. I see one of these lights sell almost daily, if not you know every other day for sure, on eBay. So I know the light sells well, and so we thought we would grab one and you know kind of see what's up, put it through our test in our in our test lab. We'll do a full PPFD grid, and with that information, we'll be able to determine the average PPFD for the entire grow area, and then that number we'll use to determine the DLI. That's the daily light integral. And that's the number that researchers are really starting to place a lot of importance on. So we're you know, happy to be able to provide that very important number for you. We'll also do a general overview of the light. We'll look at the um, type of technology that's being used, the spectrum, and then we'll note any extra features that the light has. Um, we'll also do an uh, actual wattage test. We have a meter we'll plug the light into and we'll be able to determine the actual number of watts that are being pulled out of the wall by the light. So uh, I'm anxious to get started. Let's take a look at the Flyzon. All right, so here is the Flyzon 600 watt, brand spanking new right out of the box. It is six and three quarter inches wide, and it's a 15 and three quarters inches long by uh, two and a quarter inches thick. It has a nice case. Um, it's solid, it's heavy, uh, seems to be put together well. Um, not flimsy or cheap construction. It seems to be pretty well, pretty well constructed. It has two fans. Um, you'll notice the vents here on the back, and then it has vents along the side as well for the heat to escape. According to the eBay specification sheet, it uses 10 watt double chips and there's 60 of them. It has 38 red, 17 blue, two white light LEDs, two infrared, and then one ultraviolet. So a lot of people really like the ultraviolet and the infrared addition and so you know that'll, that's a nice feature of the light. The spectrum is predominantly red and blue so you know the technology is older it's you know kind of a well, blurple spectrum. Uh, but that's okay. The blurple lights have been, been growing nice plants for, for many years, and it's cheap. I mean, that's what we're looking for. That's the whole idea that we're doing these reviews is to find good lights at cheap prices. So we're you know, real anxious to see how this one performs. The uh, nice feature that it has is the bloom and veg switches. So the veg would be primarily blue light, bloom would be primarily red light, and then the two together would give the, you know, the maximum watt output. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll check it out here. We'll see how the light performs. We'll put it in the test chamber and see what kind of PPFD readings we get. And so I'm anxious to check it out. Let's see how this one performs. All right, so we're in the LED Info test lab. We're reviewing the Flyzon 600 watt. And we have the Flyzon hung in our test chamber. It's uh, directly dead center in the test chamber. And it's at a level 12 inches of height. You'll notice in the front of the uh, grow tent here in the open area, we placed a light shield. This has reflecting material on the other side and it's designed to keep any light from escaping um, from the grow tent. And then uh, we also, when we take our measurements, we lower the flap on the tent. So, you know, we're confident that all the lights are going to be kept inside and we're going to get very accurate measurements, um, especially since we'll be using the Apogee MQ500, which is the state-of-the-art quantum flux meter. So, like I said, our numbers will be very good and you can feel confident you know, with our readings. Um, one note with this light though, because of it has the veg and the bloom switch, um, just to note, we're using the measurements with both the bloom and the veg light on, so this is full power. Um, I'm not sure the circumstances, um, you know, where you would want to use just the bloom or just the veg because, you know, it's basically cutting the power in half. So I'm not really sure how advantageous it is. Um, anyway, that's up, you know, up to each person to decide. But like I said, these readings will be um, full power. And uh, we're going to have that uh, very important uh, dead center reading here for you coming right up. Okay, so there's the number. That's the dead center number for the flies on 600, 459. And that's using both the uh, veg and the bloom um, cycle there. That's full power. And, uh, well, there's bouncing back and forth there a little bit, but 458, uh, 459, kind of back and forth. So um, we'll go ahead and I'll do the rest of the grid. We'll post that uh, full grid here coming right up. Real quick though, first we'll take a look at the meter and see what the actual wattage is coming out of the wall. And then at the very end we'll do a uh, LED Info test lab review sheet, which will have you know all the information um, for you in one place. So um, thanks for joining us. Hope you all have a good one and see you next time.